Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us this morning for our lesson. I hope that you will have a wonderful time together. Before we can start our lesson, I will ask that we pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this morning. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will help us and guide us and lead us. As we start the lesson, I pray that you will be the one that is going to speak through me, Lord Jesus. And I pray that your lesson will be a, a, a lesson that the kids will hear, understand, and apply in their lives. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. Amen. Uh, today's lesson is about Joshua conquering Jericho. But before we can start, there's two, paper, there's two printouts. The first one is for you to, the walls of Jericho folly, is for you to help Joshua to find Jericho. And the other one is for you to find the similarities in the two and you circle them. I hope as you do this, it will be fun for you. And the lesson for today, as I said, it's about uh, the children of Israel finding finally their home. But before we can tell the story, I just want to tell you that God is wonderful because God keeps his promises. When the children of Israel, they were in Egypt, when they cried to the Lord and said, Lord, we are slaves, we are not happy, please help us to escape from the slavery. God heard their cry and he sent Moses to come and rescue them. So now Moses rescued them and they were walking in the desert. They walked for years. The Bible says that they walked for 40 years. And finally, God said, now is the time. But sadly, Moses couldn't enter the promised land. So Joshua had to be the one that will lead the children of Israel into the promised land. So now Moses died and Joshua was the one now leading the children of Israel. And God was with Joshua. So now Joshua, he knew that they have to conquer Jericho. So now he sent spies to go and check the land to see what they can see. So now, remember, Moses did the same. He sent the spies and they came back with a bad report. Only Joshua and his friend said, no, we can conquer the land. So that is why from that generation, Joshua was the only one with his friend that they would go into the promised land. So now Joshua sends two spies. He says, go and check the land. So now they go, they check the land. And then the people of Jericho, they realized that there were two people amongst them that they didn't know. So the people, they realized that, wow, they know about them. So they ran and they went into Rahab's house. And they told Rahab that they were Israelites. And then they came to see the land. So now they want to kill them. So Rahab hide them. So now the soldiers, they heard that the spies went into Rahab's house. So they went there to look for them. So they knock into Rahab's house. And then Rahab opened the door and said, where are the men that came into your house? And he says, I don't know where they were. They said, no, we heard they're into your house. So they went in, they searched, they couldn't find them because he hid them in the, in the grass by the roof. So they couldn't find them. So they looked, they looked, they couldn't find them, then they left. So Rahab, what he did, he took a rope and he let them out because Rahab's house was by the wall. So now he let them out by the window and then they said to Rahab, they made a promise. And they said, you keep the rope hanging. Then when we come to conquer the land, we will not destroy you with the people of the land. But if you want, you can have your family with you, stay in the house, don't go out. So now, he said, leave the rope. So now they left and they told Joshua what they've seen and what they promised. Now, I want to say to you that when I said that God is a promise keeper, God kept the word of the spies which Joshua sent. So now let's put it this way. Joshua kept the promise 
and he told God about it and God kept the promise. So now, so now it was time for them to conquer the land. So God said to Joshua, I want you to have seven priests that would walk in front of the ark and blow their horns and the children and the army will follow then the ark then the army then the rest of the people and i want them to walk around jericho the priest will blow the horns and the people that are following i want them to be quiet the only thing that we will hear would be their steps stomp stomp as they walk around so now the priest they blew their trumpet and then they walked the ark came they were walking and the soldiers and the children of israel there was no noise quiet they walked around the first time they went back to the camp the next day they woke up very early in the morning and they repeated the same thing they walk around jericho again around the 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 priest blowing, the ark following, the soldiers and the children of Israel. Nobody to talking. They walked the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time, they went back. And the seventh time, they woke up and God said to Joshua, today is the day that you're going to conquer them. So he says to Joshua, I will tell you when to tell the children of Israel to shout. So now they did as they did the six days. But today it was a special day because it was not going to be like any other day. So now they followed the same procedure. The priest, the ark, the soldiers, the ark, the soldiers and the children of Israel. They were walking again. So now Joshua said to the people, today I will tell you when to shout. When you hear the priest playing a long blow i will let you know when to shout so now they started there they go around they go then the priests they blew Ooh. then joshua said shout and they say yeah jesus is our the victory everybody shouted their own way they shouted and as they were shouting, Jericho's wall came crumbling down. I could just imagine the sound of as the wall, as they say that the wall had such a strong foundation that no one could break the wall. So Jericho people, they knew that if anything happened, they ran quickly and they shut the gate. So no one could come in. But God, with his power, without anybody lifting a hand, he let the wall fall down. So now as they were shouting, they shook the foundation and the wall came crumbling down and it fell down and the children, the army could just walk into Jericho and they destroyed everyone and they, the victory was there. But a wonderful thing happened. The wall fell all over except Rahab's house where it was, where the red rope was hanging out. That portion of the wall didn't fall. God kept his promise. When the spies kept their promise to Rahab, God kept it for them. And Joshua said to the spies, you go and get Rahab and his family out. So as they say, Rahab, came up with the spies and they were saved and they joined the Israelites into victory where God said that they will have victory. Thank you very much for listening to the story. I hope you enjoyed it. And the wonderful thing that we have to remember that we can take into the story is that God keeps his promises. For us to do is to trust him and know that whatever he has promised, he will do. Let us pray. And thank God to remind us that if we go through life, 
if we know there is something we want and we ask God and we know that he will give it to us, we have to keep on and trust and believe that he will do it for us. Let's pray and close our lesson. Thank you, Lord, for the lesson that we had. I pray, Father, that you will remind us always that you are a promise keeper, that in whatever we do, we must remember that you will do it for us. Thank you for this day, and I pray that the kids will have a wonderful day and will have a wonderful week. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Good morning, everybody. You would have received a zipper packet of sweets and a straw in this week's envelope. And we're going to show you how to do the activity that's pertaining to our lesson for today that Teacher Kitty Borney shared with us. So, firstly, we're going to open our zipper sweet. Here are our zipper sweets and our straw. Now, we're going to start building a wall with our sweets. Start off by putting five sweets in a row and then adding your second row on top of each other. And you're going to continue building that until you have got a whole wall. If you've got too many sweets, then add on to the side. Right, now you've built your wall. You're now going to take the straw and... We're going to pretend it's the wall of Jericho and give it a big blow. And just like the wall of Jericho, the wall came tumbling down. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna be raising it forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna be raising it forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Such a lot, but you got not a lot. What? Be happy.